What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Busa GS. We got another score card reaction for y'all, and you already know what it is. Let's get it, yo. We are here, baby. Taking me, GS Gang. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, this is a celebration. It's celebration time, baby. There's a couple things we got to go over, uh, but let's talk. Let's talk mode nine. Let's finally get into it on the channel. Y'all been asking for it for a minute. The timing is right. I want to give y'all the backstory of why we're here. And I want to make sure we dig into the music proper. You feel me? Uh, first things first, this is a celebration, right? We just hit 30,000 deep. Let's go, baby. Jesus Gang hit 30K. I am elated. And I can't help but feel as though... What's more GS Gang than during our celebration of success? We take this opportunity where we have the eyes on us while we're celebrating to go and point it at a different legend so that we can give proper tribute to him. And that's exactly what we're doing, baby. So as you guys are enjoying this, we're going to get a hashtag started. Uh, I want you guys to use the hashtag Mode9Forever. Hashtag Mode9Forever. Put that shit everywhere. Put it on Twitter. Put it down in the comments if you're watching this. Put it on IG. Tag them with love. Every opportunity that you have. That's what this shit is all about right now. I want to tell y'all how I first heard about Mode 9, how we came to this special, and then let y'all in on the interview that's about to happen after this. Uh, so first things first, right? The first time I ever heard of Mode 9 was from Stogie T. Stokes sat me down, we had a conversation about it, and he basically gave me the lowdown on who he was to African hip-hop, right? And I'm going to tell you exactly how it was packaged to me, right? He said, when there wasn't a lane for rap, Mode 9 was rapping, rapping. He said, when there wasn't a commercial viability to hip-hop, Mode 9 was rapping, rapping. That he stayed street, he stayed true to himself, and he put out the music that he wanted. When there wasn't the infrastructure, there wasn't the labels, there wasn't, there wasn't all that shit that there is now even. Mode 9 was fucking rapping, rapping. And like, dog, if you know my relationship with Stoke, and you know how he is with, with compliments and the way that he talks about people and shit like that, you know he meant that shit. So I, I immediately, I was like, alright, cool. Like, I'm, I'm in. Like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's fire. You know what I'm saying? We, we're real big on respecting the, the pioneers here, right? We don't react to them often. And I said this in the, the MI interview. Because no one wants to see a, a, a pioneer get critiqued. And you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's not what people come for. You know what I'm saying? They want to see the celebration of the legends that made it, that, that paved the way. So the artists that we fuck with nowadays can be who they are. And that's exactly what we're doing now. So fast forward from the Stoke, we start actually diving into the Nigerian hip hop scene, right? I get that. I, I see the name get mentioned all over the place. The fans are requesting it every single time I sit down to talk to an artist. Uh, I hear nothing but but praise for Mode Nine. We start getting into the battle leagues. Huge shout out to Battle Rap Nigeria, uh, Battle Rap Africa, Word on the Streets. Every time I start talking to a heavy punchline, y'all know that's my shit, right? Every time I sit down and start talking to one. Who was your influence? Who's the best pump? Blah, 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 blah. Mode 9's name gets mentioned every fucking time. Like, let's go, baby. Like, that's what it's all about. Now, fast forward again. Uh, we, we've pretty much established who we are in the scene right now. You know what I'm saying? We get the MI interview. Uh, we sit down, and it's a five-hour interview. And at the end of it, I asked him, I said, what can I do next? What's the next step that the GS gang can do to properly show love and help push this shit forward? And he ain't really hesitate. He said, I would like to see y'all do a better tribute for Mode 9. I would like to see his work get appreciated on the channel. And I said, I look, I told him, I was like, we don't normally react to legends, to pioneers like that. And the reason is that people don't enjoy the critique. But what I will do is we'll celebrate him. We'll do a tribute. I'll put a special out, right? And give me give me a 10 tracks. Give me 10 tracks that you think will do well. I'll put it all in a video and we'll do this shit proper. You know what I'm saying? Again, hashtag Mode 9 Forever. Let's get it popping. Before he could get me that list, from the time I did the interview to the time we're here now, Mode 9 actually hit me up himself on IG, unprovoked, right? He gave me it was a very short statement. He was like, yo, I checked you out. The stuff that you're doing is magnificent. I took that opportunity to lay it on thick. I let him know. I was like, yo, I was already planning on giving you tribute, like, like on doing this whole special, my guy. Like, you're a legend. I appreciate you reaching out. It means the world to me. Uh, but I want you to know that before you reached out, 
this was going to happen no matter what. I don't want it to seem reactionary. You know what I'm saying? I wanted him to know, like, look, this was in the works. You were going to get paid tribute whether you reached out or not. You can hate my guts. We're still going to respect and we're going to dig into the music the way that it should be done. You feel me? So I told him about the interview and shit like that and what our, what our plan was. They thought it was dope. I was like, all right, cool. Like, he's a real down-to-earth dude. Like, it was, a, it was a super cool conversation. And I said, you know what would be even better? You know what would be even more dope? Is if you gave me the list instead of waiting for him to do it. Give me 10 tracks from you directly, right from the goat's mouth, and we'll do a special on that. And he was with it. Within 24 hours, he sent me his list of 10 tracks to dig into. He also put a little asterisk on it. He's like, look, I have so much. He's like, I got so many tracks to dig into. Here's 10, like, off the top that I think you'll enjoy. But, like, the catalog is a lot deeper than you can get into in 10 tracks. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the shit that we're here for. So we got the 10 tracks. I'm going to split this up into two different videos. We'll do the first five. We'll do the second five, make it a two-part trip. You. And like I said, we're here at 30k celebrating our victories. What better way? What's more GS gang than using our celebration to go and highlight a legend? Like, let's get into it. Do me a favor. Run the gauntlet. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. The little bell notification guy. We about to we about to eat, baby. Like, let's let's really let's really dig into this. Let's do this. So we got the first five that we're gonna go up. Uh, these are not going to be uh, scorecard reactions. This is literally a tribute. This is a special. We're going to dig into the music. We're going to point out the shit that we like, shit that we may not like. And we're going to dig into the, we're going to go into the crates. Uh, this is not just old stuff. Some of the stuff is from 2022. He actually gave me the year everything came out along with it. Let me pull this up real quick. Word, word, word. All right, cool. So I got the list. The first one up is It's About to Get Ugly. This was released in 2001. All right, so let's get let's get started, baby. And I believe, yeah, we do. We got videos for these too. Uh, they might all actually have a video. I'm not sure. Hold up, hold up. Let's see. This sound 2001 ish. Yo, these, I, these are my favorite beats of all time, dog. Give me actual DJ scratching and shit on this stuff. Like, let's go. I'll get a free ride home with the paramedics. Shine, lock it like a bad boy doing crime. Tap the fluid of your spine, serve it like palm wine. I need to do this now, cause I'm running out of time. Like a short distance race out of Big Ben. I'm Einstein, Kaiser, the grimy rhyme. Never stop till I drop posing next to a clock. Now, with time on my side, I can rock any block. Got the game pong cock, shut your mouth if you suck with the sound fly. Look, this sound is undefeated. Undefeated, right? Like, there's never gonna be a sound that's more hip hop than this delivery over this type of a beat. There's not, there's not, right? Doesn't matter what part of the world it's coming from. This is always gonna be like that signature hip hop feeling. It's never gonna change. Styles are gonna change, flows are gonna change, beat synthesizers are gonna change, but this shit will always just scream hip hop when you hear it, dog. I'm in. When I flow, my lyrics hang glide, you're paralyzed Stank mouth hang wide, shh, quiet All you snakes are fang tied My slang line slide and bury your gang pride You be <laughs> man, so I'm here to help the man decide To be the man in the play called the man died Rappers I try cry like pregnant women in a bumpy ride That's how I catch my breath before we hang Yo, the bomb blast Bring back these type of videos too. Like we need, I, I think I just talked about that on a recent reaction. We need to bring back like hip hop videos before it became about money and cars and shit like that. Like this is the shit that I love. You get slammed through a table like the opponent of a Dudley boy. My crew's one, nobody's stopping him, nobody's topping. Shut up the ECW, let's go. Yo, my rough takes got people copping him. Even when I'm off beat like an out of work policeman. You wanna be my dog so bad like Moto Police, man? I got the leash, man. Tie you to a tree, man. You see, man, I'm pressed the P, man. Right on P, man. Damn. 
can kick it better than Chinese can I'm blindfolded cause I ain't trying to see you Get the best of me but then fool if I see you I will definitely format see you Your crew PU, SSY like up a chick size Alcoholics on a tight rope one trick for you guys You say I'm high, cause you know I'm too fly I put my hand in the sky, bring it down to your eyes Neck breaking speed What's your setting for this? What's your setting for this, right? This to me, where I'm at now in my life this is this is my like this is like my throwback Sunday music, right? This is like the shit that you put on by like like yo, we you got the 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 peoples over the house and shit like that. You got your peoples over and shit. Are you watching the game or something like dog? Like this is this is that type of a vibe. So this is more of like a compilation video, right? Like this, look, I don't think this video is actually like to the song. This more, this almost looks fan made. I'm not sure that it's synced up. Maybe not. It might just not be synced up. This might actually be the video though. It's when I throw your lyric pad on the floor And kick it like I'm playing ball This is war, lyricism versus all your We settle the score with wild balls at your door I don't pray for you, I pray on you Like a hawk, you defeated me? That's a fantasy, I miss the rock and Tattoo, you can't battle, you're just a rattle Stick without venom, there's nothing in your melon I raise hell on, stage you to scared to lead your men on It's Nigel Ben on, top of the pack, Harrison Lord Applaud, will be your fugitive like Harrison Ford You cannot afford to get cut by my Harrison sword, so Jump in the gutter before I melt you like butter Raise your empty head again and get knocked like terracotta I got See like these, those are, those are the similes that we're gonna clown Just because like they don't age well You know what I'm saying? Like they like melted like butter Like shit like that didn't age well The flow though is is timeless The flow is absolutely timeless dog But a lot of fans so I wear my windbreaker And when you come the only thing you break is windbreaker So that was the actual video to it. Solid fade, amazing scratch work. Love the fucking beat. Look, man, this is this is I can I can I can confidently and pretty easily say this is probably my favorite mode non track that I've heard. This is the the flow, the beat, the style, like. This shit will give you your throwback vibes any time of the day, dog. <laughs> like, it just, like, it just is what it is. Um, that was fire. One thing to point out about all of this, too, is the timing of all this, right? I don't think if we would have did this kind of a tribute before really digging in to the Nigerian hip-hop culture that I would be having the same feelings and shit like that that I am right now. It took us a minute to get here to, to get the sense of appreciation for what it is that we're witnessing before this reaction would even make sense to do. And now that we're doing it, I'm telling you, right, like I'm trying to share my feelings with y'all. Now that we're doing it, this feels right. This feels genuine, right? This feels like we are now watching like the, the creation of all the shit that we love, current date and stuff like that. Like, that's fire. Uh, the next one up came out. Now, we've actually done this one already, believe it or not. This came out in 2006. So this actually predates... Uh, no, this one was 2000 more. This is after that. Uh, we've done this already. So this is more storytelling. Um, but I think if, you, if, you, if you're mode 9 and just sending me 10 different tracks, look at the different, the different styles between the first and the second. Like, I don't know that he has any idea what the type of shit that I like is, right? So just looking at the, the stylistic differences of the tracks that he's given us, like... There's gonna be something for everyone. I don't expect every person to like every track, but when you give a variety like that, like you're gonna walk away from a special like this, bumping something with a smile on your face. Like it's just gonna happen. So let's get back into it. Uh, Mode 9 featuring Nena. 
Cry. If I'm mispronouncing that, just correct me in the comments. No disrespect intended. Shalom, I'm Kobo. <laughs> Another tape. Cry. Yeah. Once in a while, it feels so good. Tell it off. Steam and cry. True that, true that. Don't be ashamed. This was the first uh, recorded like album record from Mode that I ever heard. Yeah, it's just the tales go down. Let everybody see. It's a natural thing. Check this out. Because it's totally to tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh. They were man and wife, but he hardly slept with her. Out late with his friends, hurting his liver. She nine months pregnant, crying a river. Alone at home, about to deliver. He drinks away his pain, but more pain to give her. The cold street make her bite up and shiver. She was a diver. When they met back at school, she was so fine. Everybody was a fool. Now she's married to one who's also a drunk. Coming back late, slurry words, smelling like a skunk. Working hard, but he drink harder. Married to the bottle. About to be your father, baby kicking. Got her crying on the phone. So he broke the speed limit. Drop him drunk like he in the race. Trying to win it. Lost control. Overtaking on the bend. Runs to his death. An untimely end. Wife gave birth. What joy. It's a boy. But she cried when she found out she was a widow. Morning, bold headed. That's the culture of the Evo. The, you know, the storytelling, dog. Storytelling has never been my favorite style of hip hop, right? It's never like the punchline shit. The one we heard on the first track has always been my preferred style. You know what I mean? But you have to appreciate it, man. Someone who could tell a good story that allows you to fucking visualize it, relate to it, feel it, and shit like that. This, this, this is never not gonna be loved in this culture. This is never not gonna be. You know what I'm saying? And like again, I feel like all these. And this is making me realize how much I miss good hip hop videos. God in heaven, heaven. closer than family, neighbors for many years. Two young men always topping their pairs. Their parents never thought that they would bring home tears. Separated, then they met in college, pursuing knowledge, but they couldn't hand. Cause they were members of rival gangs, eyeballing each other, walking with their people when you bang with the colors. Rest of my leaves, you now you're looking over your back, expecting evil. They were cold blooded, grown men, grown men both lethal. A fight. You know what? You know what I, you, I can point out that I feel like will add some good context to this too. Good storytelling doesn't get old. Like it's, un, it's it is unfortunate. I'm not saying this as a positive, but in 2022, you can listen to this and listen to the stories being told, and either relate to it or know someone probably directly in your life that can relate to it. Like. Good storytelling isn't make believe shit. That's like some fantasy stuff. Like, like this is like, this is this is life. <laughs> this this is reality put in the fucking words. And it's crazy to think almost twenty years later you, we're gonna be looking at it and still be able to have that kind of a connection to what's being said. Shot from the fun loving boys, the guns that they tote, far from toys. And one night. Both camps had beef Hanging in the atmosphere They left the shroud of grief A face-off Right in the school premises That night They met their nemesis They shot each other Point blank Eye to eye Oh my god They made their mamas cry I think I pointed this out last time too, but there's just something about hearing some bars and then just having some beautiful vocals to sit back and reflect on them. 
that just kind of like really ties the storytelling together. I'm pretty sure I pointed that out last time too, and I still love that about it. Like, it, it's almost like the when we talk about like if you don't have a female vocalist on the track, but you let the beat breathe after you really say some shit and give them a chance to think about it. Like that's kind of like the same vibe that I get from that. takes the air out of me every time, man. <laughs> this is this is such a great example, though. Of, of what I'm talking about with the timing. Even doing this now feels different than it did when we first did it, right? Like, I, I don't know if it's just the, the amount of, uh, like, time in, you know what I mean, that I've, that I've spent just learning about the fucking culture and hearing about these MCs and shit like that, but, like, everything just feels where, where it's supposed to be right now. Like, that's, this is fire. This is, like, I'm in such a good, I'm in such a good mood doing this. It sucks that the song may be fucking sad, but, like, in general, like, this does feel right. This feels welcome on the channel. This feels like a good time to do it. Huge shout out to Mode 9, giving us a little bit of diversity in the shit. We got some punchlines. We got storytelling. Got us in our feels. He was putting motherfuckers in check on the first one. Uh, again, drop comments down below. Let me know what you guys are feeling. What would your top 10 tracks be? If you had to give me 10 tracks for a special for Mode, what would be the 10 that you did? Let me know down in the comments. Da -da -da. Next one up. So this is... Uh polymath i don't think this was supposed to be the third was this the third i might have the order next up nope this is third yep so this is 2019 we're jumping way up so now we're back up to 2019 this is more recent she was shout out to techzilla already fan of techzilla on the on the uh the channel uh just, let's get into it man i actually just gave him shout outs on the uh tito simos interview that we did huge shout out to techzilla man Polymath drop jewels, I'm never flashing them. Polymath, pol polymath drop, polymath drop jewels, I'm never fl We just started, my guy! Okay! Never flashing them, don't touch the freaking microphone, walk around it. Polymath drop jewels, I'm never flashing them. See, like, this, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's the shit that we big up all the time. And this guy's just been doing it, just been like that, just been built like that from the fucking beginning. Like, like, I, like, I don't do the fashion rap like that. I don't, like, the luxury rap is cool, but, like, it's never gonna be, it's never gonna be what dropping bars is. It's never gonna be what dropping gems are, you know what I mean? Like, it's different. There's a lane for it. It's enjoyable to ride around to, I guess. But, like, it's not what, it's not what we look for on the channel. Let's go. He said... I'm ne he always dropping jewels. I'm never flat. Come on, man. Say polymath. Polymath. Polymath means. Polymath doesn't have anything to do with math. <laughs> polymath, I think, is someone who's like a what's a there's a, I know a synonym. It's like a jack of all trades, right? It's like a little bit, little bit of everything, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Like, I stand to be corrected. If this is if there's if there's a bigger significance behind that, let me know. But I'm pretty sure polymath means just like someone who does like a little bit of everything, which kind of adds into like the whole theme of diversity and shit like that that he was showing us. Like, let's go. Polymath drop jewels. I'm never flashing them. A true player doesn't try so hard. Y'all look dug, but you sing and you rap softly. Too busy fronting free sixty and back off me. Extremists, either you love, hate, add me or block me. I'm taking sips of panda poutine, the civic coffee. I'm a boss B. Stop beef for me, a bad ending. Stop pretending. You're dealing with some skilled hackers. I reveal rappers right before I kill rappers. We build stackers, getting cash is therapeutic. You're just a bunch of squares. You ain't messing with the cubist. Black African Picasso, the rap purist. The title lines and cover ups, I guess the truth's a nudist. My red eye, glowing and thinking of the dark like two shiny rubies. 
I'm horror in the underworld, bringing light to Anubis. The meaning is calm, but I turn berserker when I lose it. Japanese katana in my hand, and I'ma use it to slaughter my enemies. Just a rush of spaghetti music. Look, at least he, yo, I, I believe he really does have a katana. That's the second time in three tracks he's referenced it. This man is definitely sorted up. Look, let's go. <laughs> Also, Doug, everything again. Texilla with the beat, fucking incredible. Um, the the delivery, the flow, I, I can't get over it, man. Like this is, this is what I sound like in my own head when we're we're, we're spitting bars, Doug. He does. He's got the impact flow. Like everything is just punctuated, is enunciated perfectly at the end, and you feel every bar. Like you know where, like it's like spoon fed to you, right? Like you know where you're supposed to get the little, uh, the gut check every time you hear it. This is fire. I used to have a potty mouth, now my slang's cleaner. Foes all shook like albinos in Tanzania. One chick said a man said he could take me, a man's a dreamer. I'm serving the can of ass with him, by the way, her man's a wiener. My pocket's getting greener. You I'm never gonna be okay with Wiener being in a rap. I don't care who you are. <laughs> it's what this is the Joel Ortiz syndrome again, man. What like is this? I can't rap along with that. Like there's no, there's no hard way pause for me to be like Wiener. Like I just can't do it. That's not a me. Getting chin checked, bro. Moto wordplay in depth. Junkyard dog with a belt around the king's neck. Y'all ain't fly. You're just wingless insects. I know my rights, but I'm a rebel, so I swing left. I feel like I'm stuck in the North Pole. Boxes and the singlet. It's a cold world, but I ain't worried about the bling yet. Married, get divorced, and you're left with a wedding ring debt. Unlucky bastards, you never win bets. Mode nine raining on them till everything's wet. You're too busy snooping. I messed my accent off with this one. Lean back. Yeah, the, the boom bap flow with mode is always going to be my favorite, I think. I think that, that just, this stylistically, this is just the one that clicks with me, dog. This is the one that, that resonates with me. Get on these beats, on this type of beat, dog? Like, stop. It's, it's basically, he's giving us the same shit that we had in 2001. It's just cleaner. It's just, it's just, it's just updated. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's wild. I like it. See, I don't, do y'all know the significance of that? Like, don't touch the microphone, walk around it. Like, that's such an old school type fucking vibe, dog. Like, that's really how ciphers used to be and shit. Like, I feel bad for the MC that got a rap after me. Like, yo, like, that type of shit, it's just, it's so... Like it's it's such a timepiece, dog. It's like that that is never gonna not be hip hop. Let's go. So this this might be this is this is kind of like a hot take I think after after what I just said uh, I don't think I like this one more than I like it's about to go down but like even though I do feel like this is like an updated version a cleaner version and stuff like that there's still something about that that other track I don't know it kind of like sat in my sat in my chest a little bit a little bit harder a little bit longer this was still dope though I don't know that it's taking me over as my favorite though I think it's about to go down I think uh, this one. It's about to get ugly. I'm saying it's about to get ugly. It's about to get ugly. I think this is this is still my current favorite one. All right, uh, Invicta. This is so. This was the next one that we were about to do. This is 2022. Uh, this is the one that like was already on the list to do this week. So this is the. I think this is as of right now the most up to date one that he's released. This was uh, September 23rd. Let's get into it. What kind of song do you sing? Hip hop. Are you sure you're a singer? Yes. yes. Can you sing your song for a few minutes? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sing. check this out. They ask me if I want to party, but it's a flat no. How do I tell them I don't really rock with Afro without sounding like a little bit of a bitter hater? I throw my hands in the air. I'll see you later. Debaters. Yo, let's go. All right, so look. 
this, there, there are certain things when it comes into fruition that just makes sense. When I tell y'all how he was introduced to me, when I tell you the story, when Stone was like like mapping out who he was, tell me that's not so on brand, dog. Like when you have people being like, yo, this is this man really do stay true to himself. To just come in 2022, just come out and be like, look, man, I'm not going. Like I don't fuck with the shit that y'all listen to with these events. Like I'd rather I'd rather go and make my own shit that I listen to. Like dog, that's it's just so cohesive. It's it's so on brand, dog. Let's go. Bit of a bit of hater. I throw my hands in the air. I see you later. Debaters go back and forth like who's greater. But who they bigging up is lukewarm. I'm Darth Vader is falling. The rest of you are expendable like stormtroopers. I'm the main scene. You the movie blooper. Super human. Call me Clark Kent. Undefeated Fedor. The lost end up in your apartment. Grab your trophy and break it. You got my back. I got your back with the red naked. Choke. No gee. I tackle roughly. Walk with a big stick and kill softly. Approach me, get batted up, back up off me. Try snooze mode, but I'm always high on coffee. Decat, your creep away with broken kneecaps. Weak chaps, weak raps. Try to tweak facts, mother bleak that. I kill the shepherd, left the sheep traps. No rhyme and dictionary, I don't need apps. Sight time, my upper cup will make your feet flat. Deep nap, sliver away, I day the creep back. Yo, let's go. We got one punch man bars in this shit now too. I'm the full version. You the recap. Beat that. I knock you. Also, the the the, the snooze mode job was slept on, right? I don't like. I maybe I'm the one that slept on because I ain't paused it right then and there. The way he just put that in there was like real slick. We to shake better than panel beaters. You the undercard. I'm headlining. Drinking a leader. of Conor McGregor's whiskey testing my tolerance meter till I'm zooped out like John Jones of a loaded heater. Talking bits of Dana and the Fatitas. Seal the deal. Zoom off in the two. Come back, child, you and yours like competitive eaters. Rap Kobayashi, hot like Chili Reaper. Uh -huh. I see you link Vlad, no free ciphers. Tell Henny to drop the big bag. For 10 mil, I rap to high hats and silk pads. I see food when I peep you all, I crack the king crabs. I've been bad with the flow, do it with my eyes closed. Bird box the session, I'm psycho. Die slow, pyro, maniac. I don't smoke and I hate lean. I know some hot chicks with bars who slay slay queens. No. Whoa! Whoa! The fire! I don't even know what to talk about first. First of all, you have an OG who's in here punching, who stays true to hip hop, who is putting out a positive message. Like, yo, I'm not out here doing fucking smoking weed. I'm not out here fucking sipping lean and shit like that. Like, dog, if there's anything that we're going to do on this channel, it's going to be promoting positive messages in hip hop. It's like, like there's, there's going to come a time in my life where I have to decide what type of shit do I want my son listening to and what type of shit do I not want my son listening to at a young age. You know what I'm saying? And when you have legends in the game, who are spitting rhetoric in 2022 that is contradictory to the popular opinions like we did the, 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 the whole like drug dealers raise the generation of drug users like you guys are, are very familiar with that sentiment right and to hear him coming up and still like sh like with his whole chest being like yo i don't that's that's not how i get down you know what i'm saying i like that i respect it like let's go uh, but then oh, I know what the Slay Queens joint right after that was fire oh it took me out i went from like one thing i want to talk about right to the next like hold up I see food when I peep you on a crack and king crabs. I been bad with the flow, do it with my eyes closed. Bird box the session, I'm psycho. Die slow, pyro, maniac. I don't smoke and I hate lean. I know some hot chicks with bars who slay slay queens. Ah. No skinnies, no baggies, I'm rocking straight jeans. Everything I say mean. I'm purging snake grooves. Whack newbies get murked on a virgin debut. IG model shake what the surgeon gave you. Man, cause I don't repost like a wave you. Get your high table, you're moving cockily, I'm easily dumpy. Shake what your surgeon gave you is the wildest shit that I've heard in a very long time, my guy. Who tried come? Hold on. I gotta bring it back. Hold up, I gotta bring it back. This might be my new favorite. This might be my new favorite, John. This might be my new favorite. Snake crews, whack newbies get murked on the virgin debut. IG model shake what the surgeon gave you. Man, cause I don't repost like a wave you. Get off your high table. You're moving cockily, I easily duppy he Who try copy me, doing it sloppily. I shut it down from an older folder. I'm the one likes part of me as I carry my shoulder. I got facts from here to Nova Scotia. Demolishing reps like...
Rest in peace to Pat Stay. Build the gas holders, cherry pick your main squeeze in a payloader. Stole the valor, my guy, you're not really a soldier. Say no more, big man, this is the takeover. Yeah, so beat it like Michael Jackson. Beat it like Michael Jackson. Beat it like Michael Jackson. Yo, it's mode nine up in here, yeah. Yeah, popcorn, my life is a movie. Uh, my life is a movie. Popcorn, popcorn. Even Linzas in the house, Mode Nines in the house, TRs in the house. You already know. Jeez, Mom Bluey. This is one. That's one where even if we weren't doing a tribute, even if this wasn't a special or nothing like that, I would have geeked that over that regardless. I would have geeked that over. A couple of those Johns in there was like, nice, nice. He said, I could hit you with one of my old folders. The shit you think is hot now. Like, let's go. And that's, again, that ties right in what he told me too. Like, he's like, yeah, yo, take these 10. But the, the bag is deep, my guy. <laughs> um, oh my God, are we almost done the first five already? We got him in tech again. Kaiser flow. Let's get it. Oh, we're almost done. Again, if you guys haven't done it yet, make sure you guys drop the hashtag somewhere. Every time, every after every song, just go do it. Blow his shit up, dog. Hashtag mode nine forever. Let's go. This is the last one for the first half. Um, second appearance by Tech Two, and we do have a full video. We do. He hooked me up with the visuals too. Let's go. <laughs> I like that drop. I like that drop a lot. I'm grinding from the trenches in the night to the Congo. Got a thunder hands, not Thor. They call him Jungle. Sipping on some local herbal alcoholic gumbo. Hanging with a chick with the booty of Uche Jumbo. Face of Genevieve, that's an unbeatable combo. I'm a chip off the old. Block, no more tumble. Set by the fly, piss me off, I drop a bumble. They see how this affair last year. Bill will rungo. I'm old school like bungo. Sick way and I spit cray. I should be transferred to the ER from sick bay. I got you over the very moment you hit play. My chick may look like a model, but she's a pleaser. Feeding me grapes like I'm a Roman emperor. Julius Caesar. Hit me up in Europe, you geezers will need visas. I'm in Ibiza, chilling with half a dozen skeezers. Check the stunts that I'm pulling here, no tweezers. Listen, the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. I'm ah, this shit is fire. The truth, but they cover me so that the lives will show. I'm forced to seek a weapon that will terrorize the globe. Esoteric mellow, I'm killing them with the Kaiser flow. The ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. I'm the truth, but they cover me so that the lives will show. I'm forced to seek a weapon that will terrorize the globe. Esoteric mellow, I'm killing them with the Kaiser flow. Cats wanna rumble, I got tiger blood, line them up. I rock nations without throwing the diamond up or signing up, ah. climbing up to par, knocking off the bar. You couldn't see me with powerful binoculars Black by popular demand the trouble double up The game got broke, I fixed it, Bruce Rubble up Been doing this since champion bump I don't know who that is When our clowns are born so I aim for a juggler juggler Around the world in 80 days I'm traveling, Gulliver Wanna be, wanna be me, the Red Hornet Now watch me, get the pepper pocket full of scotch bonnet You want a vegan diet, beef, you don't want it Step back cause See, that's gonna be the line from here too. I'm way over beef. When did this one come out? Hold up. I'm over the vegetarian beef lines. Kaiser Flow is 2019. I think, I think that line alone might make the Invicta one my favorite. The red brick rock fellas get under the wing or get cut up by propellers. Polymath mess the place up a cappella. I got a pair of crystal balls, twin fortune tellers. The ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. I'm the truth, but they cover me so that the lives will show. I force a secret weapon that will terrorize the globe. Esoteric mellow, I'm killing them with the Kaiser flow. The ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. I'm the truth, but they cover me so that the lives will show. I force a secret weapon that will terrorize the globe. Esoteric mellow, I'm killing them with the Kaiser flow. The Kaiser flow, Kaiser flow, with the Kaiser flow. That was nice. Shout out to Shay Who. That's it, baby. 
we are one half done the special i'm gonna get this out to you guys right away uh make sure you take this opportunity to go and and show mo nine some love dog like that's what this is all about uh welcome to the channel if you guys are new here this is what we do we find dope hip-hop old and new and we put it in front of an international audience this has been super fucking fun uh part two will be out soon i'll let this i'll let this breathe maybe for a day maybe i'll get part two out as the next video that drops uh just so that it's all concise and we still keep the energy off the 30k special going uh if you guys are checking this out again make sure you give all love to the artist uh i, I love y'all i appreciate y'all i will catch y'all on the next one Let's go.